and not need it than to need protection and not have it. I do tell my fellow countrymen of all races and creeds and ages, I give this solemn assurance. Your government is mindful of its profound responsibility to and for all the young men who will be called to train for our national service. Your government is aware that not only do these young men represent the future of our country, they are the future. They must profit as men by this one year of experience as soldiers. They must return to civilian life strong and healthy and self-respecting and decent and free. Your government men themselves, I should like to speak, to speak of Commander-in-Chief of the United States Army. You who will enter this peacetime army will be the inheritors of a proud history and an honorable tradition. You will be members of an army which first came together to achieve independence and to establish certain fundamental rights for all men. Ever since that first muster, our democratic army has existed for one purpose only, the defense of our freedom. It is for that one purpose and that one purpose only that you have been asked to answer the call to train. You have answered that call as Americans always have, and as Americans always will until the day when war is forever banished from the earth.